All right, here we are again. Another episode of XCOM 2 Worse Than Failure. So, we're almost done infiltrating here. Oh, we've got a day. Uh, that seems to be the only mission we have currently active. So let's wait until we have a spark and see what spark we get. We've recruited somebody. We've had an incoming transmission. Oh, okay. We have a security breach. Operation Hellfall. All right. There's two faceless on this mission. So here we go. So we are going to attempt to save this place. from the Faceless. The Spy, which is the Faceless, and the Advent Forces are gonna meet, and we've gotta stop them. Here we go. All right. So we don't know where they are yet. And if we have soldiers die on this mission, it's even worse than normal. Because we could lose the entire haven. Right? Keep moving people, I guess. No need to ask twice. Hey. Confirmed. Moving out. I'm on it. Got a shotgun. We need to put them in the front. Good. More assault rifles. Affirmative. Now we got an SMG. Which means they can move even further than the shotgun user could. Let's try to find that spy. Got it. Move the SMG user here in one one action. Okay, we can't see any enemies. On Overwatch. The shotgun user a little further up. Okay. Then move the rest. I'm all over it. Ten four. Okay. Hopefully we see the enemies before they see us. What was that sound? Okay, we know that they are in that direction. They're not close enough to see us yet. Will do. Hopefully we will see them before they see us. Moving to position. We still don't see them. Okay, there's the enemies. We've got an officer, an engineer, and a trooper. Move people. Location and hopefully, we can get everybody into position on this turn. Roger that. Now, those are three advent soldiers. We don't see the faceless yet. That's going to be a problem. Because the faceless could be anywhere. I'm hoping we can get rid of the Faceless before they have a chance to turn into Faceless from their uh, 
shape-shifted form. Okay. That's gonna be dangerous. Let's move the SMG user. Hopefully we can see. Okay, they're over there all the way. So they've moved pretty far. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Confirmed. Overwatch. Hopefully we can stop them from getting to the spies, but I don't think it actually matters. We don't need to get there in time, we just have to get them before they kill us. No need to ask twice. Because even if they do talk to the spies, we can kill them before they leave. Solid copy. All right. So there's the three advent. They're just kind of patrolling. Okay, we have soldiers that are inside their range. So we're going to have to attack on this turn. Move anybody who's not currently able to hit them to a place where they can hopefully shoot. And... I've got my eyes on that's about all we can do. Okay, is that my last soldier? That is. So we're going to throw a grenade. We're hopefully going to hit all three of them. There we go. That'll hit all three. Oh, that killed two of them straight away. Okay, here comes the officer. Hopefully he'll get hit by the overwatch. Okay, only took one. Target eliminated. Possible intel located. Okay. Grab that loot. Is it clear? And try to find the the faceless. It's over here. I don't see anything that could be a faceless yet. I hope it's worth it. Double time. Go, go, go. Location confirmed. Advent troops here. Oh, okay, so there's more advent. And there's two humans, which are probably the two faceless. Okay. So at least we know where they all are now. I'm on it. Yep, those are the faceless. So we did not get a chance to hit them before they transformed. I don't think anyone else was overwatching. Well, here we go. Got a limited number of shots to get as many of them down as possible. So here we go. The gunner. They can only shoot those two. Let's see how much damage. That's five to seven damage. Or a grenade, which is two to five damage but it'll hit both. The grenade's actually better, because that makes it four to 10 damage. Fire in the hole. Okay, it looks like eight damage. Okay. Moving to position. Move slightly closer. You've got another grenade. We can do another two to five damage to each of them. One of the faceless is down. So 
as long as I can deal two damage to the other one, I won't have to fight it. So that looks pretty safe. There we go. Okay, both faceless are down. Now it's just the advent. Let's see where we can go. We definitely want to move the SMG user. Because they are currently uh, being flanked. Let's move them behind this high cover. We got 15%, 15%. That's not going to be good enough. We'll wait until one of those advent soldiers moves, hopefully. Uh, we don't have anywhere that's good to go. Let's move there. Okay. We can move here. That's full cover. And we hit. That's a 0% chance to hit. We can't reach with a grenade. And we reach with a flashbang. We can reach the officer or the sentry. I'm going to go for the sentry. Because the sentry basically has two shots per turn. And the officer only has one. Okay, so the sentry is disoriented. Okay. <clears throat> SMG is not very accurate. The officer marked. And the sentry is going to move, and then the sentry is going to. Hey, he missed. Good. They're all over me. Okay. We still haven't been hit by any attacks. That's great. I'm not going to move this soldier in, even though that would give me a better shot, because they would probably get hit. See? We can move the shotgun user in. I don't think there's anywhere good to put them, though. We put them here. They won't be able to attack this turn, but hopefully next turn they'll have a better chance. Smoke grenade boosts defense of units, but it also boosts uh, enemy units defense, but there are no enemy units here. Let's just use the smoke grenade. Okay, so these two soldiers are pretty safe. Now let's move in the assault rifles. Go, 32% or 17%, we're gonna overwatch. Mm. I think that icon means smoke grenade. Let's go there. I'm on it. Okay. Got 37%, 22%, or we throw a frag grenade and it would not reach. We could throw a flashbang, it would also not reach. On Overwatch. Uh, that is not a line of sight. That is line of sight. That isn't. Okay. We're going to go into half cover. But hopefully we have enough people on Overwatch that it won't matter. Although if the officer doesn't move, then he won't get hit by the Overwatch. Where else can we go? We can go here. That's full cover. And both of them are within range. And we're in the smoke cloud. Okay, disorientation removed. See what happens. Because the sentry's gonna have two shots this turn, basically. Okay, the officer got hit. Not dead, though. That missed. Good. Taking fire over here. here comes the sentry. He did deal damage. And he's going to overwatch. Okay. So, I can't move anyone yet, but I can attack the sentry. I've got a 50% chance to hit there. Got a 30% chance to hit. 32%. And 30%. Let's see, if I throw a grenade, I can hit the sentry. 
let's throw a grenade at the sentry. It'll either deal two damage and remove the overwatch or just kill him. There we go, killed him. Okay, so now I can move people. Let's find a good place to go. We can go here. That will flank the officer. There we go. That should be it. There you go. Positive confirmation. Area secured. Okay. Confirmed. Mission accomplished. So Operation Hellfall is a success. We have eliminated the spies. when the troops return without any reported casualties. Can't hope for a better outcome. Well, it looks like Shredder's our best choice here because that will remove one armor every time that we attack with our primary weapon. Okay. Here we go. So... I'm going to continue this episode. That mission will be later. Okay, we've got a new rookie available. And we've made a spark. Okay, here's the spark. We've got rad bunch of numbers. They're going to be there. Uh, let's go ahead and make the suppressors. We can research suppressors. Send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. We got 17 supplies. Uh, see what else? Go here, resistance management. We've got one person hiding in Eastern US. Let's put them on supply. This is the one that's very small. So we want to put all these people on recruit. Because then hopefully we can get more people to defend it. Uh, over here we'll recruit. We have 10 supplies, that's enough. And we will put them in the Guerrilla Tactics School. And let's put them as a specialist as well. Okay. Go here. This one is 8 hours. And that's gonna be it. I guess uh, we can go to the black market. Let's see if we can get a bunch of supplies with stuff we're not using. Uh, hey. We aren't using the nanoscale vest, so we can get rid of that. Not really worth much, but something. Uh, we got a stock we can get rid of. We haven't used any of the rounds. Let's sell those. We can make more if we need them. Uh, we have laser weapons we're not using. We should probably use those. Uh, we could research the advent data pad. We aren't really using intel that much yet, but we probably will in the future. We could get rid of these weapon attachments. Just because we're not using them yet. Uh, alloy plating, that's also armor. We're not using that right now. Uh, auto loader. Got an elite scope, we can get rid of that. That's also a part that we're not using yet. 
Got a laser sight. The, which of these are good? Get rid of. Uh, we can get rid of smart macrophages. Because that one is for wound recovery time. And immunity to acid and poison. We don't really have that much of a problem with those yet. Uh, hacking. Got iron skin for melee damage. I don't think we've been hit by a single melee attack from the enemies yet, so we can get rid of that. Uh, okay. Got agility. We can get rid of that because we have advanced agility and we haven't used either of them yet. Uh, we can get rid of these scopes. Okay, that puts us up to 187 supplies that we've earned. That should be enough to start building a resistance communication station. Let's put that here. Resistance communications. Resistance okay. Communications and we're going to remove... Or we could do it this way. We will remove one of the gremlins from the workshop. And we'll put it building the resistance communications bed. Okay. So that's all for now. In six days we might be able to get... More resistance communications. That's good. I will see you next time on XCOM 2 Worse Than Failure.